In the upcoming 7.0 official update version, there is a new comprehensively reformed system for officers, skill selection. Officers can learn passive skills from each other to strengthen or make up for their own shortcomings. This video will explain the new system in detail. Let's take a look at the official description first. Each officer will have two skill slots. The first slot will be unlocked after the server has been opened for 180 days, and the second slot will be unlocked after the server has been opened for 300 days. Officer with free slot can designate other officer as instructor to learn their passive skill. After learning, it will get all the buff of the skill. The buff of awakening skill cannot be obtained, and the skill level is synchronized with the instructor's skill level. The instructor will not lose the taught skill, and the buffs can take effect as usual. Each officer can only be the instructor of one officer and provide one skill for it to learn. If the officer currently has a skill learned by other officer, this officer cannot learn skills from other officers. That is to say, if an officer learns the skill of an instructor, the officer and the instructor will be bound, and no one else can learn the skills of these two officers until they remove the learned skill. After updating this system, officers' passive skills will be divided into four categories according to their skill buffs, namely Offense, Protection, Balanced, and Special. Each officer can only learn one skill of each type. The important point is that if you learn a skill of special type, it will not take effect when it serves as an aid. Let me show you here to better understand what it means to only learn one skill. After Sergeant Spanner has learned the protection skill of Angel of Light, he cannot learn the protection skills of other officers, meanwhile he can no longer learn other skills of Angel of Light. You can click these four buttons to filter the corresponding skill types. After briefly introducing the system, let me show you with some ideas about the use of this system. This system can make strong officers stronger, but due to the limitations of skill learning, there will be some restrictions on matching ideas. Here, take Saber of the Nation as an example. Saber of the Nation has a powerful DPS passive skill, but he lacks the buff of basic attributes. Therefore, when selecting the instructor, attribute buff will be the priority option. In addition, artillery units have low requirement for defensive attribute, so the selection of protection skill has the lowest priority. The first slot selects the offense skill that increases the firepower of the troops. Here, artillery officers are preferred, such as Eye of Providence's 40% firepower buff at the full level. What needs to be emphasized is that when choosing skill, pay attention to the corresponding unit of the skill. For example, the passive skill of Tip of the Spear can be used by all units, and can be selected when a suitable officer of the same unit is bound. And Valkyrie skill is applicable to the tank unit. Although it can be learned, it is meaningless to Saber of the Nation who leads the artillery. As for the second slot, offense skill is occupied, and protection skill has less priority for artillery units, so choose one skill from balanced or special. None of the three balanced skills are suitable, so switch to special skills. War Machine's skill of reducing load time is a good choice for Saber of the Nation. Eye of Providence's skill of reducing tactical skill CD time is also an option. Since it has been bound, if you want to choose it, you need to replace the skill in slot 1. You can choose according to your needs. If you want to change skills after learning, click Adjust to Change. This system is very interesting. In addition to making officers stronger, it also allows some officers with low attendance rate to be used. We will release a video about officer skill selection in the future, stay tuned. That's all for this video, thank you for watching.